so cool and crazy and wild and upside down. I'm bored and that's not fun. I wanna get away, but I'm too tired to run. I'm gonna find a place where there are no rules and the world is wild. I have the tools to make things happen and the reaction will explode. Every time you celebrate one of these special days, something bad happens. It does? Like what? Happy Flag Day! I've got flags for everyone! Happy Arbor Day! I've got trees for everyone! Happy April Fool's Day! I've got practical jokes for everyone! Todd, it's true. We must celebrate these special days! We must, we must, we must! Because today is Valentine's Day. And how do we celebrate love, Todd? Huh, Todd? Huh? Huh? Daddy! I don't know, some hearts and chocolate? You know, it's simple and painless. Yes, but love isn't simple, Todd. It's complicated! You can't just wave a flag or plant a tree or laugh at someone getting zapped by a joy buzzer and then tripping over a rope and then landing on a whoopee cushion. <laughs> Enough with the funny memory! Well, if the hearts and chocolates aren't dramatic enough for you, you can always have someone dress up like Cupid and shoot arrows at us. Oh, please. Been there, done that. <sighs> it seems I just can't do enough for this special day of love. Maybe it is just too complicated, Dana. You know, it's not like you can force people to fall in love. Force people to fall in love. Of course! That's a great idea, Todd. This Valentine's Day, I'm gonna find two people and do every single thing I can to force them to fall in love. Let me just get my power tools. <sighs> now, who should it be? Hmm. Nope. Nah. Uh-uh. <sighs> Coven leader calling Raven. Target garbage can. Over. Roger. Ooh, a lucky penny. Todd, you dropped your butt arrow. What? That's not my butt arrow, whatever that is. Here, you take it. Ah, uh, Todd, for me? That's so sweet. I think I found the perfect couple. <laughs> Hey, are the walls moving again? Dana, why are you pushing my desk? I'm not pushing your desk. You're being moved by the power of love. No, it's not the power of love. It's you. How do I know this? I can see you. You are right there, on the floor, pushing my desk. There. Happy Valentine's Day! Hi, Todd. Ah! Don't hit me! Hit you? When have I ever hit you? Ow! 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 Are you in love yet? No, of course not. Oh, don't worry. 
You will be. You two just need to be closer. Hey! Too close! Too close! Ah! Ah! Was that my back? No, Todd. That was the sound of your heart breaking for Mauritia. What a cute couple. Raven calling coven leader. Come in, coven leader. Did you forget to take me down? Hello? Help! Someone help! Hey, what's with the shouting? Who are you? Wait, no, 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 no. Don't tell me. I know. You're my guardian angel. You're what? Guardian angels protect people. That means I can do anything when you're around and you'll save me. I got it. I can jump off a tree and you'll save me, right? Um, I don't know about that. I'm like this Valentine's Day guy. Yeah, whatever. Okay, here I go, guardian angel. Come now and save me. You saved me. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you're welcome. Hey, now class, today we're going to study a foreign language. Does anyone know what language they speak in France? Portuguese. Very good, Stephen. In Portuguese, the word for window is janela. So, if I said, everyone look at the janela, where would you turn? What the? Very good. Now, what if I said porta? Ow! Very good. The door spoken like a true Parisian. Let's try it faster this time. Janela, porta, janela, porta, janela, porta, janela, porta, janela, porta. Janela. Ah! Mrs. Jules, Todd pulled my ponytail. No, I didn't. I was just holding it when her head moved. Todd, Nanu pus su ponytail. Oh, excuse me, I meant to say, Todd, no pulling her ponytail. But it was an accident. An accident we call love. Really? No. No, it wasn't an accident. Or no, you're not in love. Y yes, N no, I mean. See, Todd, love really is complicated. But I understand it. By pulling Mauricia's ponytail, I think you've finally found a way to express your feelings for her. The way she expresses her feelings for you, by punching you. Huh? It's a good thing you two have finally worked it all out. Now we're getting somewhere. No, that's not how it works. See, we're sitting so close and your hair was in my face, I was trying to stop it, so I grabbed it like this. Mauricia, please turn around and face La Maestra, which is me. Okay, Mrs. Jules. Ow! Todd pulled my ponytail again! What? No, I didn't. I mean, oops. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Todd, that really hurt that time. It really hurt. Todd, if you pull her ponytail one more time, I'll have to circle your name and send you home on the kindergarten bus. Where you can think about your love for Mauricia. <sighs> hey, look! I'm a bird! Caw! 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 No! Stay away! Help! Put me down! You're giving me a wedgie! Todd! Todd, over here! Don't you want to pull me? Come on, pull me! Pull me now! Dana, what are you doing? Oh, I'm not Dana. I'm Mauricia's ponytail. And you know you want to pull me, don't you? Huh? No, I don't want to pull you. And you can't force me to fall in love, Ponytail. Then why'd you pull me before, Todd? We all know that's how you express your love for Mauricia. So give me a pull. No, look, she hits me, and now I accidentally pull her Ponytail a few times. We have nothing in common except, you know, pain. Love hurts, Todd. Now pull me! No, I'm not going to pull you. It. I mean, nobody's hurting Mauricia, least of all you, Ponytail, Dana, whoever. Ow! Todd pulled my ponytail again! Todd, that hurt so much! <laughs> <laughs>
But I, I, Dana did this thing, and the ponytail said it wanted to be pulled. I was just trying to protect you, really. Todd, that is the worst lie I've ever heard. Uh. Help! Somebody help! I'll save you. Don't worry, Guardian Angel. It's my turn to save you. Todd! Todd! Stop! I was just running out here to say, I know about everything, Todd. About the desk, the ponytail, and how Dana was forcing you to fall in love with me. You do? And I know you were just trying to help. But Todd, I don't hate you. And I don't want you to, you know, be forced into whatever. Thanks. Um. Don't worry, Guardian Angel. We'll protect each other. <laughs> yeah, did she really think that getting you to pull my ponytail would somehow bring us both together? I mean, that's ridiculous. Yeah, ridiculous. <laughs> 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 You've done it again, Guardian Angel. Thank you. Um, you're welcome again? Well, I better get going. Okay, see ya. Ah! Another Valentine's Day triumph! I can't wait for St. Patrick's Day! Lunch. Sorry to be late, Mrs. Jules. I got stuck at the... Where's Mrs. Jules? Faculty retreat. We're getting a substitute while all the teachers spend the day in the principal's office discussing important school matters. Topic A for discussion. How low can you go? Everybody limbo! <laughs> Mr. K, you accidentally turned on your microphone again. Kids can hear everything! Kids, Schmidt, who cares, Lewis? It's a faculty retreat! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Limbo, limbo, everybody! Limbo, limbo, everybody! Limbo, limbo, everybody! Limbo, limbo, uh, everybody! Never mind, Mr. Gay. Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah! Principal limbo, Kate limbo. Slaughter, I was looking at the list of substitutes assigned to all the classes, and it seems like you made a mistake with my class. Balade, 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 balade. Um, so what now? Our substitute should arrive any second. It takes them longer to get here since we're on the top floor. Hey, I hear the teacher coming. <gasps> Todd, shh. The teacher's talking. What? You guys think that's our substitute? Do you see any other teachers around here? Well, no, but that's a cow. And there are cows all over Wayside. And none of them has ever entered a classroom before. Oh, yeah. 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 It says her name is Mrs. Bellamy. Good, Good morning, morning, Mrs. Bellamy. You've got to be kidding me. Welcome to class, Mrs. Bellamy. I don't know if Mrs. Jules left you her lesson plan, but I always keep a spare photo reproduction of it in my binder. I retyped and reorganized it for her and even scented it with Mrs. Jules' favorite aroma, smelly meadow. <laughs> Enough with the fun! I like where you're going with this, Mrs. Bellamy. No more lesson plans or structured learning. Yay! 
This is so wrong. Todd, do what the teacher says, or she'll put your name on the discipline list and send you home on the kindergarten bus. She can do that? I know this is crazy, but I really can't afford to take any chances. Principal Kitswater! Oh, today I'm not Principal Kitswater. Today, I'm Principal Party Animal! Woo! Okay, but I'm still a little curious about the substitute teacher situation in my class. Now, if I could just go up there and check on the... Uh, oh, what do you call them? Little monkey-like people. Students! Yes, them. What? And leave the party? Uh, I mean, uh, the faculty retreat? No way. Uh... Everything's fine. Trust me on this. Hey, let's all try a trust-building exercise. It'll be fun! Here's how it works. I close my eyes, lean back, then I trust you to catch me. Like this. Close my eyes, lean back, and... No, no, no. That's not how it works. It's a game of trust, because I trust you to catch me. Now, let's try it again. I close my eyes, lean back, and... Okay, this time for real. Close my eyes, lean back, and... Close my eyes, lean back, and... Close my eyes, lean back, and... Psst, Dana. Not now, Todd, unless you're done eating your textbook. Done? I've eaten more of this book than I've read. I know. We all have, Todd. Isn't Mrs. Bellamy a wonderful teacher? She's eating a box of pens. Todd, stop being so critical. What do you know about alternative education anyway? Actually, a lot. My old school had a bunch of alternative classes. The teachers were always trying to get us to think about stuff and write about our feelings. Really? That is alternative. What do you think of that, Mrs. Bellamy? See? She waved her pen. She must want us to write about our feelings, too. This is ridiculous. Mrs. Bellamy, may I be excused to go to the bathroom? Why am I talking to a cow? Oh my, teacher, coming through! Hmm, it's not easy writing about your feelings when you have so many of them. <gasps> I should organize them first. I'll call this my flippy file of feelings. This card says, sunshine, happy! This one says, tummy aches, sad. <laughs> Dana, this is crazy. How much longer are we gonna let this teacher, I mean, this cow, this whatever, how long are we gonna let her run our class? Flippy File of Feelings says, disapproving glare for Mr. Fun Pooper. A fun pooper? What's that mean? I like fun. It's just this cow and, do you really think I'm a fun pooper? Hey, Todd. I wrote about all my feelings. How about you? What you thinking? Is it about me? No. But I was just wondering about something. See, I need things to make sense. And a class taught by a cow, that doesn't make sense to me, does it? I mean, am I really a fun pooper? Oh, yeah, a big-time fun pooper. But I still like you. <laughs> Teacher leaving. Start weeping now. What about Mrs. Jules? <laughs> Turn back! It's too dangerous! I must check on my monkeys! I mean, stop! Cherie, I don't think I've ever seen you awake in class before. Steven, I don't think I've ever seen you take off your Halloween costume. It's because of Mrs. Bellamy. She inspires me so. No more elf ears! Yay! Oh, uh, Mrs. Bellamy? I, uh, I can't explain it, but our, our class, it's... 
It's now so different. Everyone seems so much more awake and confident, even more well-balanced emotionally. Some are even kinder. I mean, for the first time ever, Mauricia had a chance to punch me before, and she didn't. Mrs. Bellamy, somehow you've really made a big difference around here. Before, I thought you were just some cow that wandered into our class. But now I realize you're a cow that wandered into our hearts. need a flippy file to realize this is the saddest moment of my life. It's like even the sky is crying. Mrs. Jules! Class, I was so worried about you. Ah, we were fine. We had the best substitute teacher ever. Right, Todd? Yeah, even I have to admit it. That Mrs. Bellamy was pretty amazing. Mrs. who? Mrs. Bellamy. Our substitute teacher. Don't you know her? Class, the reason I was so worried is because I saw the principal's list of substitute teachers, and he forgot to hire one for our class. What? what? No way. You mean Mrs. Bellamy wasn't actually our substitute? Oh, no. What'd she look like? She was a cow. Todd, no talking about any teacher like that. I'm writing your name on the discipline list. What he's trying to say is... We missed you, Mrs. Bell. I mean, Mrs. Jules. How sweet. So, what did you kids do while I was gone? Ow! Todd, no wiping your name off the discipline list. I'm sorry, you'll have to go home on the kindergarten bus. Uh, but, Mrs. Jules. The kindergarten bus it is. It's good to have you back, Mrs. Jules. Yay! Okay, last time I close my eyes, I lean back and... Hey! You caught me! <laughs> have you ever thought of teaching? 